What's going on? Today is the beginning of hunting season. Almost half of America's unemployed. It's kind of crazy. And one of the things in that unemployment is opportunity. This is going to be a little different chit chat with you guys today. One of the things I want you guys to understand, it is hunting season. It is the season to be hunting for dollars with all of these businesses going out of business with all of these business closures. This is the prime opportunity for you to start your business. Now let's go ahead and talk about who is positioned to start a business. If you already have a business, you are good to go. If you have money in the bank, you're good to go. If you have good credit and a lot of disposable credit, you're good to go. If you have the ability to get a loan, you're good to go. Right now is probably one of the most insane business opportunities to have. Cause you know, I've been doing a lot of the fake American economy videos, but I've not been talking to my business owners in this video. I am talking to my business owners, my potential business owners, the people who want to own a business because it is hunting season. If you want to start a business, this is the best time ever to start a business. And I'm going to outline a few reasons. One of the things, cause I had a few consulting calls and they went really, really well. I'm talking to some young go getters, hard charging, uh, both of them got <laughs> this government money and they're like, Oh, I'm like, this is the time for you to grow. This is the time for you to look at your finances. This is the time for you to push. This is the time for you to take yourself out of your business, hire some employees and begin to become a real business owner. So one of the things I have like below, I've got the business savage finance business consult. I've got that back. If you want to get on the phone and chat for 45 minutes, you can go below and do that. And I'm probably going to put some more consulting stuff up, but it's hunting season. I am like excited. I'm not excited. Like if you're one of these poor, unfortunate people who lost their jobs, if you're one of these poor, unfortunate people who lost their business, my heart goes out to you. I know that's rough. I know that times are terrible, but take heart that if you were an entrepreneur, you can do it again. You can rebuild, you can start over, you can take those entrepreneur skills. Cause see, if you were a successful entrepreneur and that got put out of business by this pandemic, you can learn the lessons that are on the table, take these lessons and apply them to another business because it's hunting season. Oh my God. Because yes, there's a lot of unemployment. Yes. There is many business closings. Yes. There are still people with money in their pockets. Yep. There is still. So why is this one of the best times to start a business? Everyone is going left versus going right. Right now, there are many people who are watching this video that think I'm absolutely insane. They think that I'm nuts. They think that I'm crazy. It's like, well, well Glendon, the world is melting down and you would be a hundred percent correct. The world is melting down. But for those who are positioned and let's go ahead and talk about the positioning. If you broke dig Danny, if you're penniless Priscilla, if you're struggling, if you're about one or two steps from sleeping from your car or getting a van, this ain't for you because see, I'm about to say something that's going to sound extremely harsh. You didn't prepare for this. You didn't put no money away. You didn't make sure your credit was straight. You're not prepared to take advantage of this opportunity because I'm here to tell you because like, let me go ahead and give you a little game. Hire older employees. I am telling you, you can get some people who are in their mid forties to 60 years old who will work so hard for you because nobody trying to hire these people and they need money. 
They got needs, they got desires, they got wants, they want to put some steak on their plate. They want to put some potatoes and some salad on their plate. And if you hire an older person, they will be extremely grateful. They will be hardworking and you're just not going to get the drama that you're going to get with these young folks. The young folks, YOLO, life, you only have one life. Hey man, you know, I was supposed to come to work today, but my boys are going to Vegas, so we're going to go to Vegas. So I know if you fire me, that's cool, but I got to go to Vegas with my boys. You ain't getting that kind of drama with these old people, older people. Because I, I don't understand what's up with some of you, because all young people are not like that. But many of you are, and it's a problem when there is work to be done. There's things we need to get done. But right now, People are on sale. You can get an older person who last year wouldn't have worked for under 60,000. They would take that 30, $40,000 a year job all day long. Materials are on sale. Vehicles are on sale. Commercial real estate is on sale. And shortly, residential real estate will be on sale, 2021. So this creates the perfect opportunity for people who are prepared for people, you know, like well, one of the dude, gentlemen I talked to today, he, he's got good credit, you know, he, he's got money in the bank, he's got money saved, he's got this loan, he has little debt, he has very little business debt other than this loan. He's in such a beautiful position to grow. And here's the thing, you gotta be in a position to grow. You, you gotta be in a position to set yourself up for financial success because it's hunting season. Right now, as we have uh, people holding on to the dollars, we have people who are nutting up. There is a group of entrepreneurs, because here's one of the things, you know, people still buying houses, people are still moving, people are still renting apartments, people are still buying cars. Just not as many of them, but the economy has slowed down it at one point it had stopped which was really really bad but the economy has slowed down and for those who are willing to pick up the phone and like hey this is william h johnson from william j h johnson enterprises and i want to do business with you for the folks who are willing to do that and to pick up the phone again and again and again and again and again there is money to be made do you understand this is the time that millionaires and billionaires are created? And no, this, you know, I, I was watching this video and let's have this conversation. You're gonna have to put in some work, okay? And I was watching this illustration because th this is what the internet loves. And I'm gonna tell you why the internet loves this. Eight months ago, I was sleeping in my truck and now I'm a millionaire. Internet loves overnight success stories. You know why the internet loves overnight success stories? Because they're rare. Typically, the average millionaire took him 10 years to get there. 10 years. And part of the reason that the internet loves these overnight success stories is because they don't want to do the work. It's like, man, if I could just hit that one good lick, uh, I've, you know, Jesus Jesus, my Lord and Savior, has it invested in me that I'm going to be rich. None of these things are true. So if you are positioned and also to the, you know, the folks who become millionaires during the recession were already halfway rich. Let's have that conversation. Let's say you have a business, you're a small business owner, and you're doing like $750,000 a year and you have run your business very, very well, and you see the growth opportunity as your competitors go out of business, you can start expanding market share. And literally during this recession, in two years, you went from 750,000 to 5 million. You became a millionaire during this recession. 
but you were already in business. You were already out killing dragons. You were already successful. See, I, I know, I know that you want to come from nothing and to go to greatness just like it ain't happening, man. It ain't happening. See, I'm here to tell you the truth. You start a business today and three years from now, your life will be different. Three years, not three months, not a year, but about three years. And this is the reality. And this, this is why I so much love and enjoy talking to business owners, folks who have gotten through those rough first two years. Because your first year, you got to learn how to hire. You, you got to learn how to do so many things. And it, it's just like it's so much. And this is why that first year take a lot of people out. But it's hunting season. So first of all, for you to hunt, you must have a weapon and your economic weapon is a business. That's your gun and the dollars you make are your bullets. So let's get this straight. Your economic gun is your business. See, if you're going to economically compete, you got to have the right weapons. You're not going to compete in this thing with a job. Ain't going to happen. You, you need to have a business and you need to have some cash. I was watching this, you know, and I don't think this trucker actually gets enough due. There's this YouTube channel called Not Your Average Trucker. And this dude actually got into trucking with money. You know what he was doing before he got into trucking? He was flipping real estate and he was making thirty, forty thousand dollars a house. So he got into trucking with money. And a different attitude, cause see. I was watching one of his videos and he's like, you know, I had a job. I was making like $70,000 a year, but I was flipping four and five houses a year, making 30,000. Plus I had my rental income coming in. It was just like, it was hard to get up and go to work. See, when you got pretty much almost 200 K coming in per year on top of your job, job like, I don't want to do this job. I don't want to do this job. I don't want to do this job. So not your average trucker, check him out. He puts out a lot of good information from a business owner perspective because the cat has been corporate. He's been business minded for a long time. And it's just amazing because these videos that he makes, because one of the things you have to understand that during this time, if you have money, if I was in trucking, I would be buying more trucks right now. Why? Because the trucks are cheap. And, you know, if I was in trucking, I would deal with the rotating driver rodeo of you getting drivers, drivers in the seat, drivers out of the seat, because this is one of the reasons that drivers jump ship so often because they can get more money. Well, I was over here making fifty five thousand a year. I can go over here and make sixty six thousand. So I'm gone. And this is why. they. But see, right now. It ain't like that. It ain't like that. And this is how you can build a company. This is how you can build culture. And also uh, on Savage Finance, I'm going to do a video about hiring people because hunting for dollars, you need your econ you need your weapon, which is a business. You need your bullets, which are dollars. And you're going to need some employees because you can't do this by yourself. I know, I know, I know, because with both of the business owners I had, we both had that conversation because one of the things that you want to do is in your mind is I can do it myself quicker. But essentially what you have done is just become an employee of your business. You're just another employee. You're the main employee. And if something happens to you, then the business goes out of business. I learned that lesson many, many years ago. And this is why I've set my business up where it can do things without me. There's things that happen automatically without me. I don't have to raise a finger. I don't do nothing. I wake up in the morning and I got money in my Stripe and PayPal account because of the way that I set my business up. Because I have learned that when you are the major employee, when you're doing all the decisions, when you're making all the moves, you don't have no help. Woo, it'd be rough. It'd be rough. You know, you make more money than the average person. 
you you are the boss you are charting your own destiny but you're working yourself to death so one of the things that we're going to do is talk about how to build businesses and i'm gonna do this of savage finance because i'm just doing this video because the video needs to be done today and i thought about talking about this i'm in a good mood but all of this because savage finance this is where my business owners have went and this is where most of the business topic because this is more of a current event type deal because all of these businesses are going out of business you know what restaurant furniture is going to be dirt cheap I'm gonna give you a business idea. You know what you can start right now? You can start a food truck. You can get you a truck for 10, 15K. Cause see, th this is where most business owners go wrong. And I learned this lesson from one of my customers when I was selling office furniture. Business owners will go out and get the newest and the most expensive thing and go ahead and get debt. And then every month they have a situation where they got bills to pay every month where the money comes in or not. You can go ahead, like, let's say you got 25000 You can get you a used truck, convert it to a food truck for about fifteen k. Spend 10, 10 k on the truck, fifteen k on the truck. Now, listen to me. We're in a internet world. So what would you do? You would start a Facebook page. And everyone that comes to your food truck, you would get their email address and you would get their phone number. And you give them something free because the thing is, the ability to connect and contact with your customers is worth more than gold. So let's say you got your food truck, you're giving away a taco to get your email address, a phone number. So what you do is you, you're able to text and communicate with your customers when you want to. So you could go like today is Taco Tuesday and just send out an email blast, send out a text blast and bam you print money like i said i was having a conversation in one of my facebook groups that if i owned a restaurant i would have had everyone's email address i would have had their phone number so during this pandemic i was like hey we're closed to come in and sit down in the restaurant but we're open for business this is our special today and i would be sending out text because i know the power of email marketing Years ago, when I was doing Craigslist, this is something that you can't do anymore because, you know, literally I would take the people who would email me for Craigslist items and initially throw their email into constant contact. I used to use them and that you can't do that because I wouldn't I would just like, you know, I was in that situation where I rather beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. I was like, bam, you email me, your name's going on the database. And I would send out email blast every Saturday. This is what we got going on. And a lot of people on that email list will come in and buy something. See, one of the things you've got to understand is you must have the ability to communicate with your customer to let them know when you've got deals and specials because everyone likes a deal. Like I'll be straight up with you. I sell more products when I have sales. Like, you know, some can be sitting up there on the website for, but the minute I have a sale, bam, instant money, instant money. So you got to learn how to market. You got to learn to use the language. You got to learn what people want and how they want to buy. Cause there was this company that actually used to do these sales on the internet. And then they got this new person in and he did, did away with the sale. And guess what? Their, their sales crashed. Because people like the process of, you know, people like getting a deal. People love getting a deal. So they ended the sales and they almost went out of business and they had to fire this guy and they brought the sales back and then things started to get better. But right now is hunting season. It is not the hunger games. Well, depending on who you are, if you are a person with no money, if you're a person that has no savings, you have your person with no reserves, it is the Hunger Games. It's the Hunger Games. It's the year of the murder hornet. But if you've been watching this channel for a few years and you have, like one of the things that I love to hear, and this is this, this guy, he's bought several of my products and he actually got the child support case and course and said it worked. 
See, th this is one of the things, and this is why I love business owners. Business owners know you got to do work. He got the course, he followed the course, did everything, and he got the results that he wanted. So many people want to get the results without the work. Just like, hey, wave the hand up in the air and hope it happens. This is why I love real business owners. And real business owners, and I'm not being critical or dismissive, but if you've had a business for three to six years and you've made money, and you, you're a real business owner. If you have not had a business for three to six years, you're not a real business owner, in my opinion, because you, you've not been in the game long enough. You don't get you don't have those results, because when you can start a business and pay your bills and pay your employees and pay all your people for years and years and years, you are you're the real deal. You're the real deal. You're the real hero. You, 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 the real killer of dragons. And I want more people to join me in this process because it's hunting season. You just got to go ahead and get yourself a gun, which is a business, get you some dollars with your bullets and start firing. You got to play the game. You got to participate because like I said, Economic dodgeball is taking people out. And there are many people who are watching this video who once had a job, got laid off, and they're just like, I remember the last time I got laid off, I was so disgusted with the process. I was so pissed off, but I had a quiet rage because I didn't throw stuff and I didn't act a fool up in these people's office, but I was mad. I was so mad I actually did something about it. And I said, I'm never getting laid off again. And what happened was I fashioned myself a position where I was, I would get a job and learn what I need to learn and bounce. Then I would get a job. I was the worst employee in that regards because I wasn't going to be, you know, because I remember it was like, yeah, you could be here for years, get part four. I was like, I ain't going to be here that long. This is what I was thinking. I did not say it, but I was like, I'm not going to be here that long. I'm just going to be here to network, get the, develop some relationships and then bounce. And that's what I did. And I got that third job. Then I started my business while I had a job. Because once again, I'm never going to tell you to quit your job to start a business. That's hustling backwards. Because essentially what you're going to have to do is create economic largress where you have enough money to pay your bills and run the business. And that's just going to be too much because see, right now, you are like a little baby. You don't know what you don't know. And you're getting in this big, bold, beautiful world of business. And you really don't understand what you're getting yourself into. But you can handle it in time as this thing goes on. As you begin to build, as you begin to create, as you begin to become a producer and a creator. But it's going to take a little time. Three to six years. Three to six years. I keep saying that. I've been saying that for the longest times. And see, this this is why the real business owners who watch this channel, who are all moving to Savage Finance, because Savage Finance got like 1,400 subscribers this month, the most ever. And I feel that next month it's going to even grow because I'm getting ready to do a lot of different things over there. Because I'm going to be talking about the stimulus checks because the stimulus checks got real with Donald, Uncle Donnie said, hey, the next stimulus proposal is going to be generous because it's like, hey, I want to get reelected. And I think that it is slowly dawning upon the GOP party that if they don't cut another check, they're going to lose their jobs, including the presidency, including the Senate, because the Democrats have pretty much said, look, America, if you put us in charge, we're going to give you stimulus checks. We're going to give you universal basic income. All of this stuff is going to happen. And that's why I'm going to start. Like I said, I didn't do the stimulus checks because most of it was just proposals and just BS and just toying with people's emotions. But when I did a little research and I began to see how many people who were really financially stressed and all of these Facebook groups and all of these YouTube channels, I'm like, I keep finding new stimulus. I mean, people are like, hey, I'm going to talk about these stimulus checks. I'm going to talk about literally the number of YouTube channels that have grown crazy in these last few months have been like, I mean, I keep finding new ones every day. But once again, one of the things that you have to understand is no one's going to save you. 
you need to go ahead and pull out your needle and your thread and start sewing your own cape. That's what you got to do. So help come join me. Get your hunting license. Get your corporation. Start your business and get your economic gun and get your bullets and come out here and start hunting for dollars. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. So for those of you who need a little help below are two consulting packages. The one is for uh, Savage Finance. I may tune up this one a little bit. And then there's another one that's 750 bucks for 45 minutes to go over your business ambitions. Because one, once again, th th this is for folks who got some money. Let's just go ahead and qualify this. If you broke, I have no magic jelly beans. I have no magic potions. I don't have a magic wand where we can make something happen from nothing. I, I have none of that. I'm just be honest with you. But if you're positioned for greatness, I can help you. I can help you grow your business. I can help you make more money, point you in the right ways because I've been there. I know what it's like. So those links are below and go ahead and check out this next video. And I will see you guys later.